Hi, my name is Riley Sanders. I'm joined here with uh, Paige Hale and Angelo Lopez. Uh, today we are talking about nostalgia, childhood versus adulthood. So um, let's get some context in here. So how do you how do you feel about childhood? Are you excited for adulthood? I love adulthood. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of adulthood. I like the idea of independency. Obviously, it comes with its many um, downsides, mm -hmm. but I feel like you know, being independent and being self-sustainable, self-sustained, I don't know, <laughs> also has its own perks that you can, you know, live your life out and do what you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, do you prefer childhood or the idea of adulthood? I like being a kid, I'll be honest. You have no worries, you don't have to, you can depend on people, like you don't have to get a job, you don't have to, um, do anything for yourself, basically. Yeah. Could, people do things for you. You have no worries and stuff like that as a kid. Um, it's just so peaceful, you know what I mean? I remember my childhood being like easy, smooth sailing, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, adult, childhood is cool, but I like driving. Um, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> driving. Uh, what's your like, favorite part about childhood, though? Just, like I said, having no worries. Yeah. Just not having words to pay bills, going to work. Um, not having worries to do like exams and all that other stuff when I go to college and that type of stuff. When I was a kid, I used to go to school and I used to play with Play-Doh all the time. Yeah. Like, I miss <coughs> that. I don't get to play with Play-Doh no more. I don't even have recess. I miss recess. I want to play tag again. What would you say is a perk of adulthood? I think a perk of adulthood is that you live life through your own rules. Mm -hmm. You control what your environment looks like. You control who you have in your life, who you don't. You control what you eat every day, what your friends look like, what your job looks like. I feel like you have way more freedom as an adult, obviously, because, and me personally, the way that I live my life is I hate being dependent on somebody mm -hmm. to get something done. Yeah. I want to depend on myself and myself only so that I can do what I want to do in the space that I need to do it, like in the time I need to do it. Yeah. And I feel like that independency is something that I really enjoy about the idea of growing up is not having to worry about getting money from my mom or having to worry about uh, what everyone else is doing. I can have my own car, my own place, and have my own plans and live my life out. Did you have to learn um, independency early? I did. I feel like at a certain point, my mom definitely has been like the saving grace of my life. But um, for certain things at a certain point, I had to kind of decide like, um, you know, what kind of things I wanted to do and I had to kind of own my own path for myself because there was a lot of outward forces that were not allowing that to happen so I kind of had to grow up toughen up yeah and look at life I think that's why I'm so dependent not to get deep but there you go yeah there you go <laughs> do you still think you're somewhat dependent or did you learn independency early um I learned independency when I was like middle school maybe like I said, my childhood was wild. Smooth. Yeah, it was yeah. smooth sailing, you know? Honestly, smooth. I just woke up, watched Dora, <laughs> good life. You know? Good life. It was fine. Would you, what would you say is the worst thing about adulthood? I would say, the I, like I've been saying this entire time, the worst thing about childhood is being dependent. And I also feel like the worst thing about childhood is that, you know, like you're, I feel like as a person, you're always wanting to get to that next step. You're always like, oh, I want to learn how to drive. I want to get a job. Mm -hmm. I want to be in college. And you never really get to like savor childhood because you're always just wondering like what it's like to be a big kid. So I feel like kids need to savor being little as long as they can because it's not going to last that long. And I feel like a kind of adulthood is that you are expected to have everything together at every point in time. And if you do need help, it can be kind of hard to get it because you're like, you're grown, mm -hmm. handle your business, but sometimes it's hard to handle your business and you might need help. And it's kind of hard to get help, especially for people who don't have a support system back home or anything like that. It's like they're navigating this big old world completely alone. And it can be really, really difficult to kind of handle all the motion and the problems that come yeah. with all of that. Yeah, so that kind of sucks. Um, what's the worst part about like being kids, like you said, depending on people, because sometimes if you depend on someone, you, they always like not all the time, but sometimes they do you wrong. Yeah. Like you ask them to do something, and they it they take so long to do it because it's not something they worried about. 
so that's why I, I would say that that's probably like the main reason why. But for like adulthood, um, like how you say it, like what you said, like depending on people, if you don't have like a good thing back home, then you're not gonna get the support you need and stuff like that, and you have to fend for yourself and things like that. Um, another thing is like bills and all that oh, yeah. stuff, living, housing, job, yeah. All that responsibility that you have to do is, it sucks. I see so many people struggle, so many people in my family, they struggle all the time with money because they wanna, they wanna save and stuff like that, but they can't save money when all their money is going towards the bills. Right. What would you say your favorite memory as a child was? My favorite memory as a child was probably birthday parties. Every time, I mean, I consider myself the life of a party. And every time there was a birthday party, it would always kind of like brighten up my week a little bit. Cause I was very active as a child. I really liked going places and doing things with other people. And so every time mom was like, oh, there's a birthday party, there's a wedding, or there's like a family gathering. I'd always get really excited because then I get to go like talk to people. I was a really annoying kid. Go up to you, talk to you for like 15 minutes and just you're not allowed to move because I'm talking to you. And it was, I was very intense, but it was really, really fun. And I remember having a lot of fun and being able to make connections with all these different people at these different parties that I would go to as a kid. Fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A core memory would be when I was a kid. Like I remember walking in to like the kitchen and my grandma, she was cooking popcorn and she was listening to music. And this is like that special moment right there that I enjoy. And just like her, cause we ended up like dancing and stuff like that. She was like, you know, trying to dance with me, like hold my hand and stuff like that. And we were dancing together while the popcorn was making and the music was playing. It was really, it was like a sweet moment, just the two of us. And like a, another memory that I enjoy really much is like, just like laying down and cuddling with my mom and stuff like that. Me and her, we just have like, every night we would just cuddle with each other, mm-hmm. snuggle up and yeah. Mm-hmm. I think mine was um, maybe seven years ago. Yeah, seven. Um, <clears throat> cause my brother was shipping out, and uh, he drove us to the Warren Dunes. And um, the Warren Dunes are like this big old slope of sand. It's crazy. It's awesome. It's beautiful. And um, it's right on Lake Michigan. And uh, the sun sets, so um, on lake on the lake, and uh, the dune is facing the lake, and it's just a really pretty thing. And so um, my, me and my brothers were just talking about stuff, and then um, yeah, I'll head a Mountain Dew and watch the sunset. And uh, and then he left that night. And uh, I mean, we still see him, but he, he's, he, he's gone, gone now. So it's just me and my other brother. But that was my fa- like that was a distinctive memory of my childhood. I would say like being like the youngest child, it's sad to see all your siblings go away and yeah. stuff like that. Cause I remember when my brother left, he turned 18 and he ended up moving out. And that was so sad. I was crying the whole time he, he was gone. But then I, I don't know, and he just came, he barely came around and stuff like that. And that's what happens when you get older. You yeah. have yeah. your life and you gotta move on. I'm the oldest child. Don't have to worry about that. You have younger Probably siblings? Yeah. I have uh, three younger siblings. Oh, wow. And I always feel like bad because, fun fact, I went on a college tour last weekend, and my mom called me. She FaceTimed me, and I answered. Now it's in the car waiting for something else to start or something. Went in the car, and I was laying like on a pillow that was like on the car seat. And she pans the camera to my little sister, and I told her like, "Oh yeah, I'm at college right now." And I was joking with her, and I'm like, "I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna be here for a little bit, so have fun, you know, don't destroy my room." And she was like, "Okay, da, 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 whatever." And then I got home, and my mom was telling me about how she was like, "Well." Paige is not coming back. She's at college now, so I'm not gonna see her. And she's got really upset. And I was really yeah. sad because I was like, I'm, I'm still here. Yeah. I, just, I promise. It just really sucks because I, I have older siblings or older cousins that I consider my siblings. And I remember when my oldest cousin went away, it was kind of sad. But then she didn't go away. She got pregnant, so it was cool. But <laughs> not being able to see her as often really sucks for me. So I don't know. I want to create a memory of my siblings too before I leave because I don't want to like. Just like be like, bye. Yeah. So it sucks, but it has to happen. It's a thing of life. So honestly, uh, I'm also the youngest, and so oh, all right, never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm well. I've watched a lot of my siblings um, 
It's just me and my other brother right now. There's uh, five of us, but that's all the time we have for today. So um, thank you. Um, have a good night. Have a good day.